welcomed this year's B&Q Cup finalists as they ran out at Love Street, home of St Mirren. The focus of attention for various scouts at the game, 24-year-old Alex Mathy, rumoured to be playing his last game for Morton. After just four minutes of play, disaster struck one of Morton's other valuable assets. Alan Mahoud goes down, seemingly untouched by another player, and he needs immediate attention. A quick diagnosis, and Mahoud has to be carried off to be replaced by John Gergen. Morton came back from that early setback, and after just 10 minutes, they were in front. The free kick flighted in by McInnes, and Brown Alexander rises above the defence to put Morton a goal ahead. The euphoria was short-lived, though. Within two minutes, Hamilton were level. As Aki's attack looking for the equaliser, Gary Clark was brought down by Morton skipper, Martin Doak. Paul McDonald was given the job of taking the free kick. His curled ball met by Colin Harris. David Wiley saves and Gary Clark nets the rebound. The same player made it 2-1 to Hamilton before half-time, but not before referee Joe Timmins had to go off feeling ill. Replacement ref Hugh Williamson booking Cam and Doak within a minute of taking over. And so at half-time, Ryan Alexander's first goal for Morton wiped out by two magnificent strikes by Gary Clark of Hamilton. We've lost Morton's Alan Mahoud through injury. We've also lost referee Joe Timmins. No doubt, more drama to come. Paul McDonald's dead ball expertise was proving troublesome for Morton and ten minutes into the second half, David Wiley had to look lively to touch this one over. Morton were still chasing the equaliser at the other end and their never-say-die attitude came close to paying a dividend. Alex Mathy, Derek McInnes and Stuart Rafferty involved in some intricate football before McInnes unleashed a shot which wasn't far away. Aki's goalkeeper Alan Ferguson was having a busy time of it. This was a brave save at the feet of the on-running Alex Mathy. Morton kept pressing but still no luck in front of goal. This time it's Derek Collins who sees his shot deflected for a corner. It was Hamilton though who were having better scoring fortune and midway through the second half they took a 3-1 lead. Gary Clark releases Chris Hillcoat down the right and the fullback strode confidently forward before shooting past David Wiley. Still Morton battled back and from this Jim Tommy corner, Stuart Rafferty sends a powerful header just wide. Morton eventually pulled one back with seven minutes to play. Stuart Rafferty on the ball in midfield before sending it wide to substitute John Gagan. Gagan took time to look up and see Rowan Alexander before crossing for the striker's second goal of the game. Time eventually ran out in Morton, though, and when Hugh Williamson pulled for the end, it was Ackies who were celebrating. None more so than the former Dunfermline and Dundee boss, Ian Munro. I think we are perfectionists in, in, the, in the bench there, and we didn't play as well as we're capable. But we're delighted with the result, and I suppose we've, we've got to be happy. A great game for the fans, Jim. If it's a near misses in the last few years, Ian, you must be delighted tonight. Well, I'm delighted to have got this far, yeah, and... Uh, you know, take a wee bit of pleasure from that. But I'm delighted for the players because they've worked hard, they got a bad start and they've come through it and I'm delighted for them. Aki's captain Jim Weir accepted the B&Q Cup from the sponsors and league secretary Peter Donald. Aki's the winners then for the second year in a row. The final score again, Morton 2, Hamilton 3.